So along this stretch, the logging company who built this road many years ago cut through mineralization along here and failed to notice. So you have boulders and bedrock that's mineralized going down 100 meters that way as well as mineralization in the road in float and chunks of bedrock. So I've singled out a couple boulders here that I've been hammering and we'll take a look at some of the mineralization in these. So last time I was here we separated this chunk off of this boulder and I'm just uh, hammering now that I got a bit more time to get a better sample. You can see the whole thing is massive sulfides. There's a bit of quartz in there. Get an up close look at the mineralization here. See the chunks of calcopyrite. It's mostly calcopyrite, pyrite, and there's a bit of sphalerite, but nothing too much for the sphalerite. So here's the first four samples. I hammered off just right here. See the giant cubes of pyrite there. It's a bit difficult to tell the difference between the pyrite and the calcopyrite with this lighting. All this in here though is calcopyrite. You have chunks of it as well as it's disseminated in the, the pyrite. Previous XRF from this area was 26% for copper. We had another one that was A few samples so far, let's get hammering and get some more. We're going to sample a bunch of different areas, a bunch of different boulders, and a bunch of bedrock as well. So we've got a few more samples here and here. We've hammered off of this here, which is another boulder. Again, quite similar to the last one. Piece has a bit more quartz in it, a bit more pyrite in this one. So this is part of a zone that continues all the way from the Canada-US border, about six kilometers for what we've traced it, and you find showings like this in several areas, but you have a zone of disseminated mineralization more similar to this, which travels for the whole six kilometers in about seven different showings now. Uh, some of them are up to 350 meters wide. So quite an extensive zone, about 350 meters by six kilometers. So we got another bunch of samples here from another section of a boulder.
Let's go hammer more. We got some boulders right here, just outside the road, about 15, 20 meters into the forest. I've hammered a few chunks off of each of them, so you can see. And these ones are dominantly pyrite and calcopyrite, with the majority of it being calcopyrite and the pyrite being disseminated. All these massive sulfide pieces are calcopyrite. So let's go through, take a look. The last piece I just broke off. This is all calcopyrite in here. So again, more samples from four different boulders. About five meters away from there, off this boulder here, coming out of the bedrock. Chipped off a few chunks here. Again, you have pyrite disseminated, minor calcopyrite in patches like this or in there. Another couple chunks here. I thought I'd hammer some chunks off a boulder, which are pretty typical of any of the rock inside this zone. See silicus rock, you got chert quartz, and other kinds of volcanic rock. Almost looks like a brexia. See the disseminated sulfides and then you have stringers there of calcopyrite. This is typical for what you see in a lot of the rock in the zone. And that was taken off right here. So over here, closer to the road again, we have two boulders, the one below is ginormous it's about the size of my pickup truck these are some samples pulled off of the top boulder see the quartz in there sulfides And as you can see along here, there's tons of these boulders all over the place. And I'm back by the road now and you can see the bedrock here. I just pulled a sample off just up there. Again, some more beautiful mineralization. So that's the boulder showing. As you can see, we sampled many boulders today and got many samples. See you out there on the next one.